old Hocker Spiegoat for. A trusted friend, an old buddy, an old pal. But I think the time has come for this little guy to retire. His treads are worn and his threads are torn. The autumn of 2019, I picked this young chap up. He's been put through his paces, smashed to pieces. He is off and bring on the new blood. All right, enough of that nonsense. Okay, basically, as you can see here, Spiegoat 4. This is one here since July, since August uh, 2019, the Hawker Spiegoat 4 in wide. Uh, this has been a brilliant shoe and it's packed in well over uh, well over a thousand miles actually. I have really have smashed this shoe to pieces, but the time has come for um, a replacement because the treads have completely worn. Uh, the midsole, I've got to give it, it still feels comfortable. Uh, it does still feel, you know, that comfortable midsole, but uh, the upper is also a few holes, nothing major. It's still got a bit of life left into him, but he's now just a bit scrappy. So, off. Right, here we go. So. In comes Hocker, Oni Oni, Speedgoat Evo. run done. So that's 90 minutes in the uh, Hocker Evo Speedgoats and really good. Great feel. Um, the vamp is working perfectly in the upper to stretch all out nicely. There's no issues with constricting the toe box too much. They're not as much uh, space obviously as an Ultra in the toes but nothing bad, nothing restrictive. The pinky's just touching the side but it's not bad. It's actually, it feels, feels really good. It took about probably maybe about an hour for that sort of that matrix upper to slightly stretch. Uh, and it did just by a millimeter or two probably. And now the feet, the foot feels really comfortable. So I've always been a, I've always been a fan of my speed goat. As you've just seen now, uh, that poor guy is, is on his last legs. But the midsole is still squishy. It's still spongy, it's still good. The, the tread is completely worn. Um, the, the, so I forgot, how, I forgot how good the Vibra Mega Grip was on the speed goat um, and other shoes, but on the speed goat in particular, because as you can see there, uh, that, that beautiful four mil grippy, luggy depth is incredible. Um, and the grip on the trails is awesome. Light, fast, and responsive. And as I've said before, the difference between, let's say the Speedgoat and uh, the Ultra, let's say the Chimp, is the, uh, the midsole, you don't necessarily sink into it as much. You sit on top, and I actually think with the Speedgoat, I think the energy return is more. So I think it's a higher energy return. Um, in that sort of uh, infused midsole, I think there's more, more bounce, more energy return, and that's uh, that's the, that's the two differences between those shoes. But that's another topic. Um, here is a review of the is a review of the uh, Speedgoat Four versus the Timp, and you can see the comparisons, and it still stands up. The differences between uh, the two are the fact that obviously you sink into a Timp into the Ultra shoes more, whereas with the Hockers you seem to sit on top but it's a bouncier, springier ride. Um, so you do sacrifice some ground feel, but that's not an issue because you still, I don't know, that's just, yeah, you sacrifice a bit of ground feel, but for more energy return. I think that's my uh, very brief summary of that. And I'm back and I'm happy to say, all really good. Um, I was a little bit concerned, as I just said about the width, but the width actually, this little elasticated vamp, not only is it extremely comfortable inside the foot, but it's extremely, uh, it opens it up, it's flexible, so it's very accommodating. It lets the foot splay, uh, which is great. Uh, it's not as obviously, there's nowhere near as much toe, box, toe room as an Ultra, but that said, you know, uh, for one or two runs a week, where I fancy a little bit faster, a bit more responsive, uh, my toes will be okay. And that's it. So that's the first impressions review of the Hocker Evo Speedgoat. Really pleased with it. Uh, very pleasantly surprised because of the width and the space. So I'm saying um, if it works for me with a slightly wider foot, I'm going to say that that little vamp up there makes it just a bit more accommodating for your foot to move around and splay about, and for your toes to splay. It is still tapered, but it's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Anyway, thank you for watching. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please hit the subscribe button down there and the notification bell button. 
And that is it from me. So yeah, all well and take care. <laughs>